girlfriend, are you stuck in an eyeshadow plateau? Well, have no fear, Inga Faye is here, and I am going to show you exactly how to create a pink smoky eye. Let's do this, shall we? Hi there, my name is Inga Faye, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to create an easy and affordable pink smoky eye. The first thing that we're gonna go over are all the products that we used in the smoky eye. Secondly, we'll show you exactly how to prep your eyes so that your eyeshadow lasts all day long or all night long, depending on when you're wearing this. And last, but definitely not least, we'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly what to do. So let's do this, shall we? So let's talk about the products that I actually used in this look. Now there are only three eyeshadows that I actually use. One is a liquid and two are powder eyeshadows. We have the limited edition shimmer liquid eye color called Rose. This is a great color to have. As you can see, it has some sparkle in it and really makes your eyes pop when you put it on. Looks great on all complexions. So anybody can wear this color and really make it pop. Secondly, we use two other powder eyeshadows, which is the Sweet Plum as well as the Rose Gold. These are also great colors. As we go through the tutorial, you'll see how we put all of this together. Now, before we move on and talk about what we did to prep our eyes, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We upload a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure, and we don't want you to miss a beat. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. So before we actually prep our eyes, I use several products to do that because my goal, I'm sure like yours, is to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts all day so I don't have to touch up. So the first thing that I like to do, as you can see in this video, is I like to put on concealer. Now my eyes, I can tell you, are a little darker around my eyes, so I make it a point to put concealer all over my eyes, even on my eyelids and right above my uh, brows. So I do that after I have, you know, filled in my brows and actually shaped them. Because as you know, your eyebrows really frame your eyes. So you want to make sure that you have eyebrows done before you actually start your, your eye color. So we have the concealer on, we've got our brows down. And the next thing that we're going to do, girlfriend, is we're going to apply a eye primer. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, the primer is going to help the eyeshadow stay on my eyes all day. And I know many people have told me they put it on before their concealer. But in this video, I'm actually doing it after I put on my concealer. So I'm going to leave that decision up to you. I like to do that because I really think my eye color stays on longer. So you can do what you think is best for you. But in this particular video, I have decided to put it on after my concealer. So before we go into the step-by-step -step tutorial of the pink smoky eye, I wanted to ask you, when do you put your eye primer on? Do you put it on before or do you put it on after? Comment below and let us know what you're thinking. I would love to know your opinion. So now let's talk about the step-by-step -step tutorial on how I applied these eye colors. So first and foremost, I applied the shimmer liquid eye color that's rose on my eye first. It has a great doe foot uh, applicator that I use to actually apply it on my eye, just kind of uh, gently dabbing it in on top of my lid. And then I use my finger to blend the eye color in. So once I get it all over my lid and it's well blended, I then apply the Sweet Plum eye color. So this goes into my crease. Now this is a great contrast. It's kind of similar. It's in the same color family as the rose, but it still allows my eyes to really pop when I apply this on, as you can see in this video. So after I've blended it in using those windshield wiper strokes um, going back and forth across my eye, I then apply the rose gold as my highlighter. And the rose gold really makes my eyes pop. The gold in itself really looks great on um, bronze and African-American skin. So if you're of that persuasion, you can definitely use this. If you're of a lighter persuasion, you could use the rose gold or you may want to use something like a moonstone to really blend it in, to really make your eyes pop, to accentuate your God-given positives as well for um, the ladies of a lighter persuasion, my lighter, my lighter skin girlfriends. So now that we have those three colors on, I then just gently blend all three colors across making sure they're blended. I don't want the colors to look like they're three different colors. I want them to be a, 
a mirage of the three colors. So that's why blending is very important. And the great thing about blending that if you make a mistake, it allows you to erase the mistake because you're able to blend it away. So that's for those girlfriends of mine that may be novice and you're kind of nervous about messing it up. Eyeshadow is blendable, so you can't mess it up. So you're still good, girlfriend. So the next thing I then do is apply a navy eyeliner. Now, this is a little bit different than what most people do. I am partial to navy. I know blue looks great on black brown eyes. So if you have brown eyes, your eyes will really pop when you add up a navy eyeliner. So I apply that navy eyeliner on the top of my lid as well as on the bottom. And then I use an eyeshadow to seal that in to really hone in and make sure the color stays with me all day. Now granted, these the eyeliner that I use is waterproof, but when I put the powdered eyeshadow on top of the waterproof, it really seals in the color. That's gonna allow me to have it all day. And then next, I apply my mascara. Now I can tell you, I love to apply a, a mascara primer after I comb through my lashes. Because when you comb through your lashes, you're really separating your lashes so you can really get more of a panoramic type of lash going across your eyes. So that's what I did. I combed through my lashes with the spoolie. I then applied the lash primer. And then the next thing that I did was apply my fan around, which you guys know are my, is my favorite, onto my eye to really give me that panoramic lash. Now, after I apply that panoramic, uh, the Famorama mascara, I then apply a waterproof mascara. Now, why do I do that? I do that to really make sure that the mascara lasts all day. Now, that is not a have to. That's really a want to for you guys that's watching this. If you don't want to use two mascaras, it's not required. But I like to make sure that my mascara lasts all day. And when you put some waterproof on, girl, it's not going anywhere. So that's what I did. Now, as you notice, I did each of these steps individually for the top lash, the bottom lash of each eye, because I wanna make sure that when I put on my mascara, that the mascara is still wet and it's not dry. Because mascara, once it dries out, is similar to what happens to your hair when you put on hairspray. It's not gonna move. And mascara is supposed to enhance our, our lashes. And I am not trying to break any of my lashes. I want to keep all of them. So when the mascara dries, it gets hard and the hair gets hard, which means the hair is not as flexible as it would be if it had nothing on it. So you want to make sure that when you put on your mascara and you're using several different coats of mascara, that you're still combing through the, the lashes when your mascara is wet are relatively tacky. So you can still pull through and not have to worry about breaking your lashes. So now that I have done that on each eye, I have now completed the look and it looks great, doesn't it? Great pink smoky eye look that you could pretty much wear with anything. Like what I have on now is blue. If you had on a green, it would look great. If you wanted to do something with more pink highlights, you could do that as well. But it would really allow you to stand out in the crowd this season because pink is all the rage these days. So what I have done is shown you how to do this smoky eye. In addition to that, I have a product list of all the products that I use down in the description of this video. However, if you want a step-by-step -step instructional guide, I do have that as well. So just type in the word guide in the comments and I will send that over to you. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.